Hello, my name is Miguel, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a promotional video, a fairly professional looking promotional video or promo video or demo video for your company in a few minutes. Now, this is great because traditionally, videos like this would cost sometimes thousands of dollars. I know that because I've been running a animation studio for several years, and we charge between $5,000 to $10,000 per video. Now, this is a, these are highly refined professional videos. We involve an entire team of animators and producers and scriptwriters, voiceover artists. But in, to, in today's age, where you want to produce a lot of content really quickly for social media or marketing purposes or sales purposes, that's not a cost-effective solution unless you're Microsoft or Walmart that can afford you know, millions of dollars in marketing. If you're a small business owner or even just you know, fairly sized business and you have, want to create a lot of videos quickly, specifically for social media, then InVideo.io is a great solution. I've been playing with it for the last couple of months and I've produced several videos. I'm going to show you one of the videos that I created for a company that I'm launching called Mensch.com. And it's about 37 seconds long. And it took me only one afternoon to do it. Now, this is from me not knowing anything about the software to producing a fairly professional looking promotional video for a new company in just one afternoon for a fraction of the cost. We're talking, well, if we go to in in, in video.io at the moment of this recording, they have a free tier. So there you go, you could start for free, which is what I recommend. And they will go all the way to $100 a month. Uh, uh, with the free tier, you pretty much have the same thing that you have on the uh, starter program, uh, except that you can produce more more videos and you have a better resolution, uh, especially once you go to the fifty dollar per month. Uh, so uh, this is the tool that I'm using. Uh, sorry, the program that I'm using is the professional one for fifty dollars a month. But again, you can get started and use all the functionality for free, which is what I would rec recommend if you're just starting out. Now, the video that I produced, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did, is uh, here at mens.com. It's a 37-second uh, video that we can quickly watch so you have an idea of what I was able to produce in just a couple of hours. Here we go. All right, so a 37 second video, professional, you know, the, the footage is amazing looking. If I were to record this footage myself, it would cost a lot of money. Uh, so a lot of the, all this stock footage that is available on, in video, now not all this stock footage is free, uh, so you may have to pay for some of it, but there's a lot of available free stock footage and images that you can search for right within in video. Uh, so, and then the music too, also the music is included. You can upload your own tracks. You can do all the, cu all the customization that you want to, but the whole idea is that you don't want to you know, do everything from scratch. So that's why you, they have lots of templates, stock footage, stock images, and audio already in their database. So you can just grab whatever you like and put it together and press publish and boom, you have your nice little video in, in a couple of hours. Right, and then you can keep churning these videos every day. There's some companies that are producing a hundred videos a day. They have like a whole team of maybe five, ten people just creating videos like crazy, right, for social media, for marketing purposes. And that you definitely you could do the same thing. So I'm gonna show you how to create this video. Uh, but first, very importantly, before you start thinking about creating a video, uh, I recommend you have a plan of what you want to do in the video. Because you start playing with the tool without something clear in mind. If you don't have a specific purpose in mind, you're going to get lost in the software and you're not going to produce anything of value. So in my case, I'm going to show you how to create a similar video, a promotional video. So there is a specific purpose of this video, which is to show how a product works and uh, encourage people to try it out. 
Okay, so that's the traditional business video. And a traditional business video has a traditional script which has a problem, a solution, and a call to action. Remember those three things. The problem that you're addressing, the solution is your product, and the call to action. You could also create social media videos and listicles where you say, what are the top things that you should know about uh, recruiting or something like that. But I'm gonna focus just in this type of video. Later on, I'll do other tutorials where we can cover other type of videos, but I think this is the, the per perfect use case for in video. So, uh, in terms of the script, uh, keep it short. Ideally, it shouldn't be longer than 90 seconds, maximum two minutes, because people don't have any attention span these days. Also, because you just want to cons condense the, the best possible message in the least amount of time. Right? Don't bore people. It's like kind of like an elevator pitch. In my case, I keep it to 37 seconds. Uh, and that's enough to cover the three aspects, which is the problem, the solution, and the call to action. So here's my script, right? And I have the problem here where I qualify uh, the viewer with a couple of questions. Then I have the solution here, and then I have a call to action, all right? So, the key points for the script, keep it under 90 seconds, so that's about 200 words max. If you're not sure, this is something I always do before I finalize my script, or if I wanna make sure that I'm in the right uh, track, I, I go to wordcounter.net, paste my script, and I can see there's 75 words. This is going to be, yeah, about 30 to 40 seconds long. Uh, so that's good, it's less than 200 words. Now, because as you can see here on the video, it's uh, it's seen is it has just one line. Now you want to make sure that these lines are not too big, otherwise they're not going to fit inside your scene, right? What Nvidia does, it separates each line into a scene inside a storyboard, right? So you want to make sure that your each line of your script is not longer than eight words on average. They could be shorter, slightly longer, but not, not too much, not much longer than that. Otherwise, they're not going to fit properly inside the frame of each uh, scene. Then uh, make sure that each line is in a separate, so each sentence is in a separate line. So you have to press enter. So in video recognizes that that's a new scene. And then we, once we get into the software, you can determine how long each scene is. So anywhere from one second to one minute, as long as you want to. I recommend it seem between, being between three and six seconds maximum. Although if it's faster than that, people won't have enough time to read and digest the scene and the sentence. If it's uh, longer than six seconds, I notice that the last two seconds, you're like, okay, I got it. I got the sentence. Let's just move on to the next thing. So timing is crucial. Uh, and you'll you'll have to, you'll get a feeling. You have to review your video several times to figure out if it's is it moving at the right pace, right? So between three and five seconds uh, maximum per scene. And again, the script parts, the beginning. You're going to address the pain. In my case, we're we're creating software that helps people identify the best software developers from a pile of resumes. So first of all, I want to qualify that the person watching this video is hiring a software engineer. Second, that they have the problem that we're addressing, which is uh, do they have too many resumes that they have to deal with? And then I introduce Mensch as the solution, uh, which is basically a, a way of creating custom assessments that you can send all your applicants to, and then you get the top uh, performers, and those are the people that you would interview. And then I have a call to action, uh, which is go to mensch.com, start to uh, to try meds and also I give them an incentive. This is a good idea in marketing is to give them an incentive. It could be scarcity, like well, this is this is only going to have this offer is only going to avail be available for the next couple of weeks, or if you sign up early, you get a discount. Or in our case, the first ten assessments are free, so an incentive for them to try out. And that's like, I could speak a lot more about how to produce a proper uh, script and really the script is the blueprint of your video so it doesn't matter what software you use if you don't have a proper script you will not have an effective uh, video so think about how you're going to make it really good follow these guidelines and once you have that now we can go and jump into the software and make this into a video like i showed you all right so we're going to log in into our uh, into InVideo, 
And once you log in, you're presented with three options. So you can either convert your script into a storyboard automatically. You can pick a, an existing template of video, like they have like hundreds of templates you can pick from, and then you can add the script to it, or you can start from scratch. My recommendation, what I found is easier, is because if you've already done the effort to write the script, is to start with the script uh, version, right? So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna click here, and that's going to load in video, and now you can pick a theme, right? Uh, you can always duplicate your project. So let's say you pick a theme and you don't like it, you can always du duplicate, it, duplicate it and then use a different scene. Uh, you could definitely, all these templates or themes, as they call them, can be edit editable, editable, which means you can change the look and the color scheme within it. So uh, don't spend too much time thinking about this because you're gonna, they have uh, quite uh, many options, right? Now, the other thing you have to decide is uh, what format of video you're gonna be using. The most traditional one is horizontal, where the aspect, the aspect ratio is specifically 16 by nine. This is what you will see on YouTube. Uh, all the YouTube videos are 16 by nine, or, uh, that's the horizontal type. Square is more for Instagram type of videos, and vertical also for Instagram videos, and they're very, becoming very popular because this is how most people record videos on their uh, smartphones, right? And then you have, when you because we selected as, uh, that we're gonna convert a script to a storyboard, to a video, we have uh, two type of modes, which is stories and listicles. So stories are would be the typical problem solution type of video that I'm talking about, and listicles are more informational, like, you know, what are the five things you can do with in video, in this case? Or what are the top things that people do in holidays in Hawaii? I don't know. Things that are like lists. Uh, they're great for marketing. They're not so much for selling, they're more informational, they're more for content marketing. In our case, we're gonna use stories. And because this is a business video, we're going to go for the business template. As soon, as soon as you click on it, you can see the, you can preview it and you can go back and forth to uh, see if this is a look that you like. Remember, you can change the background, the, the text, everything uh, after you pick it. Then you can select whether you want it uh, square or vertical. There you go. I'm gonna select horizontal and Boom, let's pick that. Pick this template. Now we're gonna paste our script here. And there's other, a couple other things you can do, which is if you already have an article that you wanna convert into a video, you could paste the URL here. Or if you have a bunch of images and videos, you could upload them here and then each video or image will become a scene on the storyboard on, on the, if you paste a link to an article, it would grab the text and also create a scene per, uh, per paragraph or per line, and but this this uh, I haven't tried those and I'm not sure how accurate they are. So what I'm gonna do is grab my script and put it here. That's gonna be my story. That's how they call it. Now you can add a headline uh, because there's a couple of different type of storyboard scenes that we're gonna see in a, in a minute. Uh, that determine the look of, the, of of that scene, the slide, right? And you can always change it. So right now, my script, uh, my 75 word script, uh, is right here. And there's an option to out to suggest images or uh, videos, which is, <laughs> it tries to guess which kind of image or video to add to your scene based on the text. So it's using artificial intelligence to figure it out, but it's not very accurate. I'm gonna use it click it on it so you can see what it looks like. And now let's click next. And it takes a little bit of a while for NVIDIA to crunch my script, figure out what images should go in each sentence, and then it separates each sentence into a unique uh, scene uh, they, they call a storyboard, right? And once, once this is done, we'll be able to edit each scene individually. So here we go, boom. Uh, now my script is converted into a series of 
uh, you, they look like slides, right? But there are scenes. And it's seen by default. Well, we can see here that one lasts six seconds, six seconds. So there you go. It seems that by default, all the scenes uh, are about six seconds, which is uh, it's a good number. I will make them slightly shorter. It depends on the amount of text that you want to use. And this is now when the real work starts, uh, which is making sure this looks proper. Because right now, right from the scratch, I could click preview and it's going to crunch all these images and we can preview them. We can preview our, our video. This is what, this is, I haven't done anything and this is the video that it comes up with. Find out who's the best <laughs> and I get some kind of like great custom. All right, so we got to it does a terrible job of trying to figure out what images to associate to each sentence. So this is where now you're going to use their huge library of existing footage to put images that correspond to the text that they're using, right? And so that's what we're going to do. Uh, the first mm, scene here, the first shot, it says need to need to hire an awesome software engineer. So what I would do is look for, I don't know, programmer, okay? I'm gonna look for programmer. We're gonna do this just for a couple of slides so you get it in a sense of how it works. It's like add, finding the footage, adding in it, and then editing the actual uh, scene. And then it's just rinse and repeat until you're done with your script, right? So I have about, I think I have 11 uh, scenes, uh, 12. So we're gonna do that just for a couple so you just get the sense once and then you you, you know how it works. Right? Okay, so I type programmer and then I just scroll down through the different options that we have here. I can always preview them. And uh, let's see if somebody programming this guy. It's programming. Okay, sure. Let's add this to my scene. So I just drag it and drop it inside where it says media. They can I can select which chunk of this video I want to add. Right? You can always edit this later, but I'm gonna say just use the full video. Now the problem when you do that is that now the scene is 11 seconds long instead of six or five, right? Uh, so I can preview it. See how would that look like? And uh, that is very plain. So what I'm going to do now is edit it. And I'm going to select, I want, first thing I, you want to make sure is that you make sure that the total length of the scene is not too long. So, you know, four to six seconds maximum. Now I can preview it and it's gonna be shorter. You can see that the text has been animated already. And uh, first let's play with the video. Let's trim the video. Let's say you just wanted to pick a specific, so this, this shot is 10, 10 seconds, but let's say I just want from here to here. And this is gonna be five seconds long, right? So if I pick a chunk of video that is less than five seconds, what's, what it's going to do is loop it, loop it around this area. And that looks kind of funky, unless you wanna do that. So make sure that whatever you trim is longer than the actual duration of, of the total scene. So anything that is over five seconds is gonna be great. So okay, here we have 5.9. So that's gonna work well. Okay. Now, what else we can do? So let's say this: the you, we wanna edit the title. You could always edit it here. Now, let's say you wanna highlight, and this is highlight a part of the sentence. You highlight it with your mouse, and then the highlight pop up is gonna appear. You click on it, and you can highlight just that part of test of the text and you can change also that text to a different color if you want it right red is fine you can change the text style this part is is pretty uh, easy to get used to it basically it's like using word you're just editing you, anything you click you can change its uh, look how it works uh, the interesting part 
since this is video, is what can you do in terms of animation, right? So here you have two types of animations, the in animation and the out animation. So what happens when the, when the, the text comes in? And in this case, it says fade up, but we could have something like uh, down. And if you just down and we preview it, that we're, gonna, we're just going to give it a different appearance. You see, it came from the top, right? Uh, but I don't mind having something like fade. Oh, look at all the fades up. You can also have rotate. Man, they have a lot of stuff. Slide, so slide from the left, for example. Let's preview that again. And it comes from the left. I like that one. Okay. That's great. So this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be playing with all the elements, you can click on any of the elements and then edit them. The other thing you can do is once you're editing, you can add a bunch of stuff. You can add a link to a, a tweet or an Instagram post. You have lots of stickers that you can add. For, most of, for, for the most part, you will not need to add stuff like this. Uh, it's just quite time consuming. It's really not gonna add a much more value, but you know, if there's something that a specific point that you want to make and you're looking for an icon and it's, there's just not any type of icon. These are animated icons, right? So let's see if I can find something related to computers and type uh, search for computers. Let's see if these are animated. Oh, that's just animated. That one too. Let's just grab this one. So if you click, it will add it. And I could have that there. And then I can select when in within the five seconds of the scene, this the animation for this icon starts and ends. So once I click on it, you can see here that you can drag these two points, the in and out points. So what's going to happen is that this animation is not going to start right away. It's going to start at 1.2 seconds into the scene. So when I say preview, if you pay attention to the top right corner, boom, there's a slight delay and then it disappears, right? And also I can select what kind of animation I want in terms of fading and fade out, sorry, in and out. So right now it's fading in, but it's just abruptly disappearing at the end. So I can do a fade out. Uh, let's see where the fades in are. Fade, all right, it's just a, a simple fade out. So if we preview it again and we pay attention to the top right corner of the frame, it fades in and then it fades out. And you can do that with any other icons. You can add as many icons as you wanted, right? I'm going to delete this because we don't need it. And I'm going to save this scene because I'm happy with it. Now pay attention to one thing. You see here it says premium. That means that this, uh, this specific clip, video clip would cost money. And so there's a lot of them that don't say premium that are free. And of course, the ones that are really nice, they cost more money. So you have that in mind uh, when you're uh, cho choosing uh, stock images and footage, because if you add a lot of premium uh, assets, it may cost quite a bit of money. So the process of creating your video is doing the same thing. It's grabbing a scene, finding stock footage or images that match the text, if, if you don't find it, you can always upload yours. You could create yours. There's no, you can always go here and go to uploads and upload your own video and then drag it into here. Uh, if I want to change these ones, in this case, it says flooded with a ton of resumes. What I would do is find resumes, type for resumes, either in videos or images. And let's see what NVIDIA has in their library. Any of these would work. Let's just say this one. Oh, this is the one that I used originally. Boom. I like it, useful video. Let's uh, edit it, because maybe that's, that's a little bit too long. Let's make it four seconds long. This, it, uh, what I can see here is that the text is not very, it's not very contrasty. So what I'm gonna do is select the background, select more scenes and find a background that is easier to read. 
maybe this one okay preview all right that looks about right but as you can see the scene is very long I only need to be five seconds let's play it I didn't replace the existing scene so interesting you can add more than one video or image in one scene but I don't need that one so I'm going to delete that and I'm just going to keep the resume the scene is five seconds long we got a title that you can see better okay and right, let's just click save the other thing we're going to cover is the different type of scenes that you can have, right? So you can have uh, the headline, story, quote, question, and social. The headline are great for the beginning of the video. So it makes the text bigger and it's great for catching, capturing att attention at the beginning of the video. Story are, it's going to be, most of your scenes are going to be story where there's just text and some image on the background. Uh, quote, it's a self-explanatory. Here you just uh, paste some text from, let's say, a customer testimonial or something like that, and then you could add that. So you can have a heading. Uh, who is it by? So John Smith said that we're great. And if you want to give it a heading, you can have it here. And it adds it right so very self-explanatory if we go to question then you can ask a question it basically adds a big question mark at the end and you can uh, change the look as well if you want social this is interesting if you have some tweet let's go to my Twitter account Twitter you can grab any URL from any specific tweet and the way you do that let's say that uh, go to my profile and I want to grab one of these tweets I'm just going to click on I what I do is I click on the date and then that will give to you the URL you can just copy and paste the URL of that specific tweet and once you go into in video you paste that then it fetches the tweet and let's see what it looks like it's loading the tweet all right so you can see the tweet here we don't like that look no problem just click on it and you have a bunch of different templates to make that tweet look more more according to what you're looking for so we go to scenes let's see what other ways of representing this tweet we have here it's loading them sometimes uh, in video and in general software online that has to do with editing video is a little bit slow so i recommend having a little bit of patience with that so these are all the different looks uh this one is really i i really like this look oh it's interesting it's actually picked the thumbnail i didn't know that so in this tweet i have a link to a youtube video and it's picked the thumbnail of the youtube video as the background for the scene and here we can see the actual tweet. So if we preview it. Oh, it loads it up. And oh, this is really neat. You have like a cloud and the, the tweet bird is animated. Right? And you can click save and have it. Uh, so there you go. That's pretty much it in terms of changing the video and the text and the different, different type of scenes. To finalize your video, you may want to add some background music. And in video makes this very easy. All you have to do is go to music, then select a category. Within the category, play any songs that you want to. Once you select the song, click select. That song will be added here. You can see it's been added there. It's called A Free Night on in Bushwick. And now it will play in the background of the entire video. If for some reason you don't want that background music on a specific scene, just click on the edit button on that specific scene and it just turn the volume off. You can also set the volume of the background music here. 
Right now, the maximum you can have it at is a 70%. And if the video that you had had any audio, it would be on this, on the audio volume, right? So let's say there was that, a video with voiceover on it, you may wanna make uh, make sure that traditionally that audio, if it has voiceover, should be higher than the background music so you can hear the voice over the background music. Right now, this clip doesn't have any audio, so it doesn't matter. You can have it all the way up, nothing's gonna be heard on top of the background music, right? But if I didn't want background music on that specific scene, all I would do is bring it all the way down. The other thing you can do, which is very interesting, as I said, is you can have in video read uh, <laughs> read text, so you can add voiceover by either recording it yourself, uploading it from your computer, importing from any audio that you've already uploaded, or add automated voiceover, which is a new feature that they have here. Uh, in this case, it says, yes, mute all of the, all the other audio, because if I add this audio on top of the uh, what I, I, I have, it may conflict, but let's say, uh, let's just click, yes, mute all over audio. Okay, so by default, it, de it, it deletes all the other all the, all the, all, all audio, which is interesting. You should keep it, keep the background music at least, I would say. So uh, in this case, it's going to read this text. Let's see what Sally, in this case, I can select several voices, female and male, and different languages as well. <laughs> So Sally is going to read that line. It's going to generate the voiceover automatically with very clever software. Need to hire an awesome software engineer? Need to hire an awesome software engineer? Now, if you like this, you could click Add Automated, automated VO for All Scenes, and you don't have to replicate this for all scenes and it basically whichever text that you have which in my case is going to be the script will be read with sally's voice and if you have a different language uh, like spanish espanol castilian spanish then it could read it now if, if you have english and you have castilian spanish it probably sounds very weird let's see what it does need to hire an awesome software engineer yeah huge accent need to hire awesome software engineer uh, so <laughs> I've done videos where I had uh, the automatic voiceover, the, like you know, a Spanish person trying to read in English, and it's quite funny. So there you go. That's that's how you would uh, would add a uh, voiceover, and we click on the video. One more thing I wanted to say is each item, the video in the background the text and any overlays that I have or shapes, because you can add shapes and uh, and overlays and stuff like that. Uh, it's going to be in a different layer. So if you want something to be on top or behind something, just drag it like this, just drag it. So right now the text has disappeared because I put the video on top of the text. And now I drag the video behind the text and now I can see the text. And there you go. This is pretty much everything you need to know in order to create a video on in video once you're done you click on preview and export and this is going to be 55 seconds uh, the whole video and the preview is not 100 percent accurate a little bit clunky sometimes but it gives you an idea of what's going to look like and once you're happy you click export and then in video is going to take a while a couple of minutes to generate that video for you. All right. So right now it's processing. Once it's done, you'll be able to download it. You can always go back and edit. You can duplicate the video or you can rename the project. You can delete the project. Here's my the, the video that I showed you originally that I did for my company, mens.com. And one thing is that if, let's say you wanna change the aspect ratio. So now you want this to be square so it fits on Instagram you can duplicate it and then you just select uh, either square or vertical mode, right? So if I select uh, square and I say duplicate, it's going to tell me that, you know, some changes may not look perfect, so I'm gonna duplicate anyway. And then you have to go through your project again, make sure that the text fits properly, that the background images are not weirdly stretched, but it does a pretty good job. I mean, if I preview uh, any of these slides, uh, I can see that, you know, it does a pretty good job.
And that's so simple. I mean, traditionally redoing this with other software would take a long time. Here's the final project uh, that I, I showed you of, of Mensch. You can see all the slides here. And I'm very happy with it, literally. A couple of hours, I was able to create a promotional video for my company. I'm sure after watching this tutorial, you'll be able to do the same. Here's a quick recap of how to create an awesome business video in InVideo. There are nine steps. The first one is you're gonna create your script so you have a blueprint, a clear goal of what your video is going to convey. Second, you're gonna use that script and import it into InVideo. So InVideo generates an automatic storyboard that then you're going to edit. There's two other options, create a video from a template or start from scratch. From my experience, writing the script first and then letting InVideo convert that into a storyboard is the most efficient way of creating a video. Then you're going to choose an aspect ratio and a template. The aspect ratio is going to be their square, horizontal, and vertical. And the template is just going to be the overall look of your video, which then you're going to edit by adding stock footage and images. InVideo has a large database of both free and paid stock footage and images to enhance your video, but you can always upload your own. Fifth, you're going to edit the default scene animations. InVideo animates all your scenes automatically, but you may want to tweak them for your own purposes. And you can edit the look of the text, the animations of the text, and the animations of the background as well. Then this is optional. And InVideo also has a large database of what they call icons and stickers. These are elements that allow you to enhance the look of your presentation or your video and illustrate a specific points, but this is optional. Then you want to add a soundtrack. InVideo has a large database of stock soundtracks. You can also upload your own. Then you want to add a voiceover. You can either record your own, get a professional to record it for you and upload it into InVideo, or they have a really nifty option which generates voiceover automatically from your text. And finally, once you're done and you've previewed the video and looks right, you just export your video in a higher definition format, which now you can upload to YouTube, social media, or your website. Now, how do you write the script? So, keep it under 90 seconds, 200 words maximum. No more than eight words per sentence. Each sentence on a separate line, because each sentence will be converted into a scene within video. And then you want to make sure that each scene is not longer than six seconds. Script parts. The script will have three parts. A beginning where you're going to address the pain and qualify your customer with questions. A middle where you're going to explain your product, the solution. And the end, it's going to be the call to action. What's the next step you want your viewers to take after watching the video? And that's a wrap. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now, if you want to get started with InVideo, just click on the link in the description below to create your free account. And if you ever want to upgrade, just go to where it says payment settings and enter the code InVideo50 to get a really nice 50% discount. How cool is that? Now, that's everything for me. If you enjoyed this video, then click like, subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you very much and see you soon. Here we go.